Hey YouTube, welcome to episode one of Algebraic Methods. The first thing we're gonna do is algebraic division. We're gonna see how it ties into long division that you did in primary school. And then that's gonna lead on to factor theorem, which is the next episode. So let's get right to it. So in primary school, you would have learned long division. Then you would have gone into things like the bus stop method. But I wanna remind you long division, because to be honest, I think most of us hated long division when we did first learn it, but it's actually not that bad. So if you wanted to work out how many 13s go into 189 using long division, we'd say how many 13s go into 189. They would say, how many 13s go into one? The answer is zero. Now, technically speaking, you should put a zero, but I'm not gonna do that. And then we would say the one would carry over to the eight to make it 18, but we can read it as 18. We're saying how many 13s go into 18? The answer is one. Then we do one times by the number that we're dividing by. One times 13 is 13 and we write it underneath. Then we subtract the ones cancel. Eight minus three is five. And then the nines come down 59. Then we do the same thing. We say, how many 13s go into 59? Well, you could do your 13s times table. We know 13 goes into 39 three times. If we add 13 to that again, we get 52. So the answer is four. Yes, yeah, so the answer is four. And then we do four times 13, which we've already done is 52. We write that underneath. Then we subtract 59 minus 52 is seven. So the answer is that 13 goes into 189 14 times with a remainder of seven. Now this number here we call the quotient and we call that the remainder, the seven is the remainder, and the 13 is the divisor. But the quotient is quite an important um, word that's used in A-level maths. So let's see how it's applied to algebraic division. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you're learning something, then hit that like button. Comment down below to let me know what you want to learn next. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. So this is what an algebraic division question would look like. Find the quotient in dividing x cubed plus 5x squared plus 11x plus 15 by x plus 3. So we set it up the same. So we're saying how many x plus 3s go into... Now when it comes to algebraic division, we always look at the leading x term and what you're dividing by. So you say how many x's go into x cubed? And the way you want to think about it is what do you need to multiply x by to give you x cubed. That's what we did with the 13. We said, what do you have to multiply 13 by to get 18? We said one. So x times x squared gives you x cubed. And then we do the quotient multiplied by what you're dividing by, we write it underneath. So x squared times x is x cubed. Then we have three x squared and then we subtract. So the x cubes cancel, five x squared minus three x squared is two x squared. Then the 11x comes down and the 15 comes down as well. Then we look at the leading x again. x times what gives you 2x squared? Well, the answer is 2x. Then we do the multiplication again. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. Subtract. These cancel. 11x minus 6x is 5x. And then the 15 comes down x times 5 gives you 5x, then we multiply, 5x plus 15, subtract, and we get nothing. So there's no remainder here, meaning x plus 3 goes exactly into the x cubed term. So the quotient here is x squared plus 2x plus 5. Now for part b, let's do the same thing. So we're saying how many 2x plus 1s go into so 2x, what do you have to multiply that by to give you 6x cubed? 2 times 3 gives you 6, and then we have x squared. Multiply 6x cubed plus 3x squared, minus them. These should always be cancelling if you're doing it properly. Then 9x squared minus 3x squared is 6x squared. Then the minus 5x comes down, minus 4. 2x times 3x gives you 6x squared. So we have 6x squared, 3x times 1, minus, cancel, minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8x, and then we have minus 4. 
2x times minus 4 gives you minus 8x. So we get minus 8x. And then minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. And then that is 0. So the quotient here is 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now I've said here for part A, use the inspection method as well. Now there's not, you don't always have to do long division. You can actually do something known as the inspection method. How does that work? So I'm going to do that here, part A. Now if you think about it, if x plus 3 is to go into a cubic, the quotient we know has to be in the form of a quadratic. Now this is basically factorizing. So we're saying the x cubed factorizes into x plus 3 times some quadratic. You just put a bracket there. Now what does that quadratic have to be? Well, x times something has to give you x cubed. Well, that has to be x squared. Then 3 times something has to give you 15. Well, 3 times 5 has to give you 15. The only thing we don't know is what the middle term is. So we could call that ax. Now, all, it, all we have to do now is look at, okay, well, which terms give us the x terms? Well, we would have x times 5, which is 5x, and 3 times ax is 3ax. Now, what do these terms have to add to? Well, they have to give you 11x. If you're multiplying out the x terms, you could have actually done it with the x squared terms. If you wanted to, you would have done the x times ax, and you would have done 3 times x squared. Whichever one comes to you first, just do that one. So that's to be 11x. Now, we can basically just ignore the x's here. We're looking at the coefficients. So 5 plus 3a is 11. So minus the 5 over, that would give you 6. Divide by 2, a is 2. And you can see that here, we had 2x. So the inspection method actually requires a lot less work, but it's just up to you whichever one you feel most comfortable with. Well, I'll do one more example with the inspection method. Okay, next question. Find the quotient in dividing x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3 by x minus 1. Using long division and the inspection method. Now, what you might notice is that there is a term missing. And very regularly, they do do questions where there is a term missing. It's very simple. We do the same thing. So x minus 1 into x squared. Now, when there is a term missing, just put 0 x minus 3. And the reason you want to do that is that if you don't put it there, what students do is when we take away the terms in our division, if, there's a, if you don't write the 0 x, what they do is they just copy and paste the term down. But the double negative changes the sign on whatever you're bringing down. So please put the 0 whenever there is a term missing. If there was no x squared term, you would say 0 x squared. If there was no 0x, if there was no x squared or x term, you'd put 0 on both of them, yeah? So same thing, how many x's go into x cubed? We'd say x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. Take away. Cancel. 2 minus minus 1 is 3x squared. 0x comes down and the minus 3 comes down. x times what is 3x squared is just 3x. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times minus 1 is minus 3x. Take away. So this, this is it, what I'm talking about. If you don't write the 0x, what I see very commonly when I mark papers is that the minus 3x gets copied down. But it's 0 minus minus 3, which is positive 3x. And then the minus 3 comes down. How many x's go into 3x? The answer is 3. Then we have 3x minus 3. Subtract. 0. So the quotient here is x squared plus 3x plus 3. Now how do we do it with inspection? We're saying x minus 1 times something gives you x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3. Well, x times something would have to give you x cubed. No, we could say that's x squared. Then minus 1 times something would have to give you minus 3. Well, minus 1 times plus 3 gives you minus 3. All we need to find is what the middle term is. So you could do the coefficient of x or the coefficient of x squared. It's up to you. Because the x term is missing, I'll show you how you do it like that. So how do you get the x term? The x term will come from doing x times 3, which is 3x, and minus 1 
times ax, which is minus ax. And that has to equal 0x. That's equal to 0x, because there is no x term. Basically, ignore the x's, because we're looking at the coefficients. The minus a comes to the other side, so a is 3. And we worked that out here. a is 3. So the answer here is x squared plus 3x plus 3, which is the exact same as the previous um, algebraic division. So this is an introduction to how we do algebraic division and inspection method. I'll use them freely. In further maths, generally, we like to use the inspection method because long division is quite, it's in the name, right? It's quite long. But make sure you stay tuned for the next episode where we do do the factor theorem. If you learned anything, guys, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more maths content. I look forward to seeing you in my next episode. Peace.